Nanny Maria spills envious Meg asked Catherine to concede Anne Hall to her, despising Nottingham Cottage. The source reveals that in his memoir Spare, Prince Harry left out the part where he and Meghan stayed at William and Catherine's home during Christmas to skip on things the prince and princess did for him. Meanwhile, he lied about the smallest things about his older brother. Meghan was invited to spend Christmas at Sandringham with the Queen, which was unusual because the couple weren't married yet. William and Catherine invited them to stay at Anne Hall. Nanny Maria witnessed the Sussexes enjoying staying with the Waleses there, and in particular spending quality time with Prince George and Princess Charlotte. It's the best of both worlds in that they can take part in all of the festivities at the big house, while retreating into their own space when needed. There'd be total astonishment if Harry and Meghan don't stay with William and Kate, but Meghan said Anne Mahal was a lot more impressive than not cut, and asked Kate to exchange their places after Meghan and Harry married. Nottingham Cottage is the smallest property at Kensington Palace, so Meghan didn't want to live there. Meghan's the type of woman who can't ever stop being envious of other people's possessions. Later on, Harry was interviewing Barack Obama for a Radio 4 programme and told Mr Obama what a wonderful time they'd had, declaring that Meghan had loved it. It was so much fun spending time with the family and they'd made her feel very welcome. This was the time he upset the Markle family by saying his family was taking the role of the family she'd never had. He said, The family loved having her there. I think together we had an amazing time. We had great fun staying with my brother and sister-in-law and running around with the kids. Christmas was fantastic. She's done an absolutely amazing job. She's getting in there and it's the family, I suppose, that she's never had. However, in spare, he ignored this visit altogether, nothing mentioned between November and the following February. It was a deliberate omission because confessing that she'd enjoyed every minute of the visit would go against their victim narrative of everyone hates us, they didn't make us feel welcome. The royal family did all things to make Meghan feel welcome and she refused. It took a massive effort for her to play nice until she got that wedding ring on her finger. When she got Harry alone, she was probably burning his ears up with all of the ways that they'd insulted her and how awful the whole experience was. Plus, Harry was on record complimenting his father and acknowledging how difficult it was bringing him up, and also saying he had a happy childhood. This is what he was always saying pre meghan However, in spare, he says his father was never around and always putting Camilla first. In other news, Prince Harry famously took a jab at his older brother's receding hairline in his memoir Spare, which was released in January of this year. However, now it seems that the Duke of Sussex is in need of a little help to make his hair look thicker and fuller with the help of picture editing tools. The role was spotted last week at his polo match in Singapore. In the picture obtained of the event, Harry's hair looks visibly thinner as he stands in the sunny outdoors posing with his friend. However, with the update of his profile page on his mental health startup, Better Up, shows his hair to be noticeably darker and thicker than usual. A Royal Watcher wrote, Photoshop does wonders for the hairline. Male pattern baldness is not something you can change without a hair transplant, wig, or in this case, Photoshop.